Hello my little willies. I decided to repeat this video because some people told me that they were getting a different swatch when following the same instructions. So I found out where the problem was and I am also taking this opportunity to explain it in continental style. So let's get started. It's a beautiful stitch really chunky, spongy. This is the other side of the work. Great for knitting warm and cozy clothing and accessories. Pretty easy to knit, just four rows, ideal for beginners. Firstly, we need to cast on an odd number of stitches. I'm going to cast on 11 stitches. Okay, we start with a setup row or row zero, a row that won't be repeated again. We are doing this just once and this will be the wrong side of the work. You just need to pour every stitch. When you get to the last stitch, I always like to purl it or knit it through the back loop. Doesn't matter what you need to do, just do it through the back loop so we can avoid a huge loop there. Okay, first row, right side of the work. We are going to knit every stitch. Pretty easy, right? Second row. We're going to pull every stitch. Third row, the repeat is net one, slip one, purlwise. Remember, you will find the written instructions on my website, sowoolly.net. There is a link for you below this video on the description box. So the only thing we need to do is net one and slip one stitch as if to purl. Just pass it onto the right hand needle. This is it. Let's do it again. Knit one, slip one as if to purl. Knit one, slip one as if to purl. And keep repeating until there is only one stitch left. Ending the row with knit one. So the problem was here on row four. I'm going to do it slowly so everybody can understand. The repeat is knit one, yarn forward or bring the yarn to the front, slip the next stitch as if to purl or purl wise, now bring the yarn to the back, and that's it. Let's do it again. Knit one, bring the yarn to the front, slip one as if to purl, and bring the yarn to the back. And repeat. Knit one, yarn forward, slip one, yarn back. Knit one, yarn forward, slip one, yarn back. and repeat to the end of the row. 
ending with net one. Basket stitch continental style. Remember you have to start with a setup row or row zero, which is a purl row. I can do it here because I already started and the repeat is from now on just rows one, two, three, four. So suppose you already did this purl row and now we are starting row one, which is knit every stitch. Row 2, as per row 0, purl every stitch. Row 3, the repeat is knit 1, slip 1 as if to purl. That's it, and repeat, knit 1, slip 1, knit 1, slip 1. Keep your turn always in the back, knit 1, slip 1, knit 1, slip 1. Net one, slip one, end in the row with net one. Fourth and last row, the repeat is net one, bring the yarn to the front or yarn forward, slip one as if to purl, and bring the yarn to the back. And repeat net one, yarn in front, slip one, yarn in the back. Knit one, yarn front, slip one, yarn back. Knit one, yarn in front, slip one, yarn in back. And repeat to the end of the row. Ending with knit one. So these last four rows create the pattern. Repeat them until you reach the desired length. When finished, bind off four wise after a row four. That's the right side of the work. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and happy knitting.